learn mathematics, learn spelling, and keep your child engaged all at the same time. It is the neatest little guy. Here he is getting to work already drawing a picture. And the cool thing about this is it talks to you, it asks you questions as it goes along, and it comes with these great cards that you can actually put in front of Quincy to scan. And this is how it knows what to draw. It does a drawing lesson with your child, and it also, as I mentioned, asks questions along the way. It is the coolest thing. First time you've seen it, we're the only place that has this for you right now, and it is $20 off on five flexible payments, so a $20 bill will get it home. And Stephanie McKee here um, is going to show us how it works, why it's so great for kids. You happen to be an art teacher. I am. So when we met earlier, you said this is perfect because you're teaching STEM, yes. science, technology, engineering, engineering and mathematics, math. and then with the A, the artistry mixed in. Yeah, so it's time. STEAM. STEAM. And you Very have a little cool. one that's interested in STEM and is part of the STEM club. He's seven years old and he loves to draw. And I have a four-year-old too. And this is recommended ages four and up. That's exactly who this is for. Maybe you right. have a future genius at home, a child <laughs> or a grandchild who loves technology, but maybe you're getting a little frustrated of all of the screen time because right. those screens to me are very distracting. You can get off task. Even if you are doing a learning game, say you are watching a video that teaches you how to draw, yeah. you're on to the next thing in two seconds. Quincy is your tutor. Quincy will teach your child four and up how to draw and it'll play math and spelling games as well. You get all sorts of cards with different pictures that will walk your child step by step through how to draw. So, so let's see then um, how that's gonna work because as you can see here, we already showed Quincy this card, right? Yes, we so that's like it. a game and that one's pretty involved. Um, it kind of tells a story which is really cute and does a math game at the end of that one. But I am busy over here drawing a shark. Okay. So this is um, <laughs> okay. what, th this is the steps that I've gone through so far and I've followed along here. And the shop. next step is to draw an eye. So I am drawing everything that Quincy does. All I do is press the button in the center when I'm done, and it will walk me to the next step. And what I love about Quincy's voice, you can kind of hear, she really explains every step and breaks it down little by little. She's engaging, she makes it simple, and makes every child know that they can be an artist. And I love that Quincy will show the steps. Yeah. explain why and then wait for you to catch up or your child to catch up and then they can push the button Great at job. the top. Yeah. Now tell me about, we've got numbers here, we have letters here, when did these come into play? After you draw your animal or object or whatever right. it is, now Quincy will ask shot. you how to spell that animal. So right now, okay. do you know how to, you know spell, how to spell it? So you'd have to find the S and put the S in front. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah, let's okay. put the S in so front. Let's start with S. So I All just right, we know right Quincy. Right? We can spell, yeah. Okay, just so go ready, guys? I was waiting for the shot. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Look, and it spells too. And That's Isley is here letter. playing with Quincy, and she was uh, she's in she's six years old, so she's okay. in kindergarten, which is an excellent age for Quincy. Well if done. you have someone that's like four to seven in your life and yes. they love drawing and they love robotics and maybe even coding and tech, this is a cool gift for them because they are not just learning how to draw, but they're getting interested in how a robot works. I mean, I think it's amazing to take the two things that kids are into. It's art and it's technology. Yes. And and then combining them in a way that they're still learning something, using their creativity, they're staying engaged. I love what you said, Stephanie, about how it's completely different than going online and finding some drawing video where they're gonna get sidetracked, they're getting more screen time in, and you don't know what's popping up, you don't know what that content uh, actually is. With this, everything comes included. You don't have to buy batteries, it's rechargeable. Yeah, it does so come easy. with a charging cable. I don't need Wi-Fi or an app to use it, and I can feel good knowing my kids are gonna stay engaged and learn something really cool. Yeah, I want yeah. to give you a what little tour books? of Quincy, too. Oh, the okay. books are for drawing in. That will show you all the pictures oh. that go along with the cards. You can use any paper, any pen, really, but the books are nice because Very you neat. can look at the lemon and then draw the lemon there, and then you can write it. I mean, early learners are really into those sight words, those right. basic words, so you want to... Um, 
be able to write them as well. Very neat. And it's pretty user friendly considering kids are going to be using this. That's right. right. There's just a power button on the back so you can spin that on and off. Down here is where you plug in the micro USB. So power button, USB, and then you just have three buttons on the top. That's the next button that guides you through the drawing step by step. So simple. Any child can be an artist. They can pause and they can rewind. So if they missed a step or if they were confused, which happens a lot with early learners, yes. they can just rewind and see that step again and follow along and get confident in those drawing skills because a lot of kids think they can't draw, but right. they can. And they, they do. Have to learn. They need that confidence to learn it, right? And look how easily she's doing this. She's figured it out in no time. Six years old, you said? Yeah. You just, it will ask <laughs> you questions as you go. It will do um, math questions, uh, spelling lessons. So it's more than just drawing. It's really the full spectrum here of learning, which That's I think right. is fantastic. And I think that it's so important to stay future-minded and stay on the cutting edge of learning and technology. And this is a robot. How many robots out there are available to little ones and will teach you something and can create? I think right. that's where robotics gets really interesting because this is a drawing, teaching robot. And this might just spark the curiosity in your child in yes. the... Uh, coding field or in those important fields that are that are just going to have all sorts of job opportunities and in the future. I'm, this is where it's all heading right now too. I mean even my seven year old I was telling you he's in a STEM club that they do once a week and they had to apply to get in. Everybody wanted their children to get into it. It was a random lottery because this is these are the skills they need to it's know. It's so this is important. Where we're headed. Yeah. And if you're shopping for a child or grandchild that's always on a tablet this is going to be a whole new like field of interest to them because they're going to say how does this robot work? Well, there's software in there and it really is coding. And as they scan each um, picture, like, let's see, I've got a fox here. Okay. I'm gonna press the button and as they scan the picture, it's gonna walk your child through step by step how to draw that fox. Let's learn how to draw a fox together today. So they'll just follow right along. I'm ready for the next step, Quincy, teach me. Let's begin. Let's draw a small curve. Okay, I can do that. I mean, step-by-step -step yeah. instructions are so important to a child that's learning the how to draw. Out and that's too. another major and life skill as well as <laughs> right? focusing and follow right those directions. That's right. And look how smooth and precise it is. All you do when you set it up is snap the arms on, they're magnetic, okay. and you just put the pen in and tighten the pen now, and you're ready to go. With your Quincy, you are getting two of the marker pens, but as Stephanie mentioned, you can use any marker, anything you want. We think markers are probably the best to keep it smooth. Yeah, that but, thin marker pen. Yeah, and it's adjustable in the front here how you can do that. It is rechargeable, so you don't need to buy batteries for this. Um, you'll never need like an app or Wi-Fi to use it. That's or nice. Any of that, so you can take it on the go with you. It's a lot better in my opinion, because sometimes I try this when we go to like my parents or friends for dinner. I'll bring coloring books and crayons. That's all fine and dandy, but they do get bored with that yeah. pretty quickly. This is engaging. Quincy's like a friend. You bring, it is Quincy is a friend, and you bring all these cards, and they can decide what they want to do. Do they want to draw? Do they want to do math? questions? Do they want to do spelling? Um, it's interactive, and I love that it's conversational, too. Quincy's very nice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> She's polite. If your child is spelling a word and puts the wrong letter card in front and doesn't get the word correct, she says, oh, that's okay. Try again, <laughs> which I is a good, good learning robot. And see, look at the math that she was doing. Two plus one is three. Now, we do say ages four and up, so they're learning everything from the basic spelling and math skills on upward, right? How? Yes, they are, and I think those are, like, really foundational skills that you have to get down early on and Quincy can help with that. I just have to say that this studio has been buzzing with interest in Quincy because they're like what is this robot? How does it work? How does it draw? And to watch it draw is really very magical. And I've got to say it, these are the type of gifts. These are like the big ticket gifts that get so much use and the kids are just so excited when they open it up. Even the packaging to see the robot on the front immediately you're intrigued. Like what is this? And it could be a family gift. If you've got multiple grandchildren, if they're siblings, um, a niece yeah. and a nephew, boys, well, girls will love this, all ages time. from four and up. And you can still get it in time for Christmas, which is what I'm really excited to offer. Um, with five flex pay on everything today, it means $20 will get this home for you. And this price, when it's
it's not on sale because it's brand new. I'm glad it's on sale. I am sale. too. That's it's gonna nice. go right back up to $129.99. It's a robot. This is very um, high-end technology, even though it's very user-friendly. It comes with all of the game cards with letters and numbers and pictures, the extra books and two pens as well. Yes, you're getting a lot and your child is going to have a blast learning how to draw Quincy. Oh, so unique. Well, you continue your art lesson. You're doing a great job. Thank Stephanie. you. You know, Quincy's helping a lot. Yeah, thank you so much for being here Thanks and showing yourself. us this. I appreciate it. Uh, we've got more coming up this hour. If you missed it, though, our today's special comes to us from Wolfgang Pie.